Okay guys, so you probably already know that I'm a big fan of customizing my iPhone, especially in ways that Apple usually does not allow you to. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to personalize and customize the carrier logo or carrier name of your iPhone for something a little more personal. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode and now as you can see right here this iphone is a verizon iphone but i've changed this to apple logo iDevice help apple logo as you can see right there so let me show you how easy it is to do this now there's a few things you should know of course links will be in the description this is the github for the developer who created the application gawabunga there it is this application allows you to customize your device in many ways but i'm going to show you how to install it to change the carrier logo now also one thing you need to know is this app is using an exploit that apple has already patched with ios 16.2 so if you're running 16.2 or higher this will not work on your device this iphone is running ios 16.1.1 so i'm good to go so make sure you check out the uh, software update on your device if you're running anything lower than ios 16.1.2 or below then you should be able to do this on your iphone again links will be in the description you're also going to need a third-party app store basically so a signing service silo this application is what you need to do so once you click the links in the description it will bring you here to the github and you find the ipa right there so this is the app the ipa right there you click on it and then it downloads to your iphone right here so click here check out your downloads and it will download right here as you can see right there now depending on which service you're using to silo the application onto your iphone then of course the icon will look a little different i'm currently using the alt store as the third party app store for my iphone in order to install this app okay so this is not going to be an app that you find in the app store you need to silo it once you download it you want to click into it you want to click on the share icon and then you want to choose your third party app store or your signing service so click the alt store here for me and this will install the app right here onto my iPhone. Now, of course, I've already done that, so I don't have to do it again. And there's the application Gawabunga. There you guys go right there. Once you launch it, you get the user interface. You have the home, you have springboard, you have sound and miscellaneous. So on springboard, you can do things like hide the dock. So the dock of your iPhone, you can hide it as well. You can also hide the home bar, which is the home bar here on face id devices disabled folder background okay and also disable folder blur so when you open a folder on your iphone you can remove the blur and the background from the ui there you also have the ability to disable the blur on the app switcher so this blur here that shows up in the background here of your app switcher you can disable that as well and disable shortcut banners in case you use the shortcut banners options as well now you also have some sound options here so if we go to device we have the ability to change the charging sounds to the magsafe maybe or the old one just like so go back to default here we also have cool lock sounds that we can customize our device with so we have the old one or the windows just like that i'm just going to go to default all these options and things can be changed using kawabunga but i want to talk about miscellaneous this is the option that i want to go ahead and show you because we have carrier name right here we can click on edit and right here we can change this to whatever we want so i'm going to go ahead and paste here an apple logo just like so and i'll link that in the description and then go ahead and write iDevice help click apply and there we go now the changes have been made all i have to do right here is reboot my iphone so i click ok power off my iphone and power it back up and these changes should should be implemented so let's go ahead and power off here so let's go ahead now and power it back up and these changes should be implemented into the carrier name so now my carrier name should be apple logo iDevice help apple logo and again you can customize it to whatever it is that you want let's go ahead and wait for the boot up here and we should see these changes apply onto the iphone now if it don't happen in the first try you can try it again and there we go i now changed the carrier name of my iphone using the kawabunga app and again you have so many other options in order to customize some sounds notification sounds lock sound charging sounds and also change ui elements using the kawabunga app now i'll also link the developer in the description down below as well in case there's any changes and updates to the app so you guys can stay up to date with that as well and if you want the wallpaper that i'm rocking today in today's video links will be in the description as well thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it happy customizing and i'll see you guys on the next one peace